Yes. Okay. Why don't we just go through and see how we do, and if there's a problem, we'll see if we can get some help. But let's call the roll. It's about five after nine. Donda Wolf. Richard. Here. Richard Twizak. Here. Rob Lewandowski. I see you, Rob, but I can't hear you. That's it. He's on mute. He's on mute. Yeah, probably mute. Here. Okay, okay. sir. Good morning. All right. Don't. Here. I see Al running the show. Good morning, Al. Here. Uh, Ken Peterson. I hear Here. you and see you now. And Bob Don. Present. How about Ryan Thompson? I don't see him listed or in in uh, in uh, whatever in camera. So wait. With that, I think we couldn't we can get moving forward. If we stay with our agenda, perhaps we can do what we need to do in an organized fashion. And I'll do my best to stay on track. But the first two items we have are correspondence, one from Cindy um, Flower. She gave us a notice about the changes in the structural exam, which has a pretty strict um, filing deadline for everything. Um, so that's just an, a, a notice for everybody to be aware of in the changes for the October 23rd exam. So that's information. Interesting to note, if you miss the deadline, you're not getting in no matter what. <laughs> then uh, it would be nice to have Ryan involved in this discussion, but we'll introduce it anyway, and then we can come back to it. This is a question for the surveying, as, um, engineer, uh, su surveying members about a individual who has a drone company. Um, who wants to be able to provide services to land surveyors um, using drone. As a subcontractor, he would not be providing a final survey. Um, he would be providing the raw data to the surveyor based on information that the surveyor would provide relative to ground control. In my opinion, this is a service. The land surveyor does the ground control and it's really replacing the service of what you know we had all used as photogrammetrists and who are still you know working so that's the introduction my opinion is that he's providing a service he's not land surveying um and and i don't see any reason why he could not continue but you have an opinion on that bob and ken I, I don't see it as being any different than uh, than hiring like a private utility markout service. I mean, you're, right. or, or a you're hiring somebody to do an element of your work as long as you're supervising it, it's fine. Right. Can yeah, you I, I, don't, I don't see a problem with it. It just gets down to how the surveyor is going to certify it. And uh, oh. it's up to him to do the checks that he needs to do. Correct. Right. We, we do it all the time. We actually are using drone in house and, and um, it, it's a very time consuming effort, I will say, and it takes a tremendous amount of computer capacity and expertise to interpret the data. But we provide ourselves the ground control. We would do the same thing for the, the drone operator if we didn't have the equipment ourselves. So at the end of the day, we have to take the data if they provide it. Um, um, relative to contours and, and elevations, and then we make our field check and determine whether or not it's an accurate representation of the conditions. How about you, Bob? Um, Don, do you I, have a... I, I agree with everything I'm hearing, yeah. so. Uh, yeah, no, I was asking Bob, don't, don't go now. Oh, yeah, sorry. I don't... No, that's right, Bob. <laughs> yeah. um, Bob D doesn't work with us. Um... <laughs> yeah, BD doesn't work. Uh... No, um, but anyway, yeah, we don't. Um, use it. We have been, um, we tried it a few times and it was just uh, too cumbersome. And for the um, uh, areas that we're working, the relatively small sites, uh, mostly treed sites, it, um, we just. Yeah, so it has limitations, control. obviously, yeah. Um, but I, I don't think that it, it, it's, it rises to surveying 
or being concerned about the need for registration or licensure. For right. I'm, I'm in agreement with you on that, uh, right. Tony. It's a different form of photogrammetry. And, and That's yeah. correct. Certainly, yeah. as it was presented, it doesn't rise to providing surveying it. It's correct. providing a service. Right. So, um, let's see. We'll have to formulate a, um, a response. I'll, I'll probably take a stab at it myself and pass it around for the surveyors to review, but uh, I'll respond to the last paragraph. Okay, we're running through, running through Jane for distribution for review. Thank you, Tony. So the next, next item on our agenda was reconsider, reconsideration to approve class one credit part one. Bob Doan reviewed two applicants, Quinn um, Decker and Michael Couliard. I don't remember the circumstances particularly, but if Bob could re refresh our memories, what did you decide or determine? Okay. Um, for uh, Quinn Decker, um, he has the additional three months, and I make a motion to approve um, class one credit part one for Quinn uh, Decker. Is there, is there a um, second? second. Thank you, All those in favor of the motion to approve Quinn Decker for class one credit part one say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Hearing none, that motion carries. In the circumstances about okay. Michael Yard? Yes. Uh, for Michael, um, six months ago, we told him he was nine months short. Six months later, he's three months short. So <laughs> I. <laughs> I make, a, I make a motion to uh, have him um, revisit us in three months. And he had a minor in math, right? Yes, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> the motion is to um, um, uh, reaffirm our prior decision that he didn't have the qualifying experience following the degree. Well said. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second. Thank you, John. All those in favor of the motion to advise Mr. Michael Couillard that his experience is still three months short. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? So denied your lack of experience following the, the degree. All right. And then John DeWolf reviewed three applicants for reconsideration of the class four reciprocity. What about the one by Sweet? What about the other oh, one? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Unica Kadka. I'm sorry. Richard Swizak. You know, I, I did review her application and it, it does appear that she has, you know, has collectively four and a half hours or four and a half years of experience utilizing, you know, one year of, of her master's degree. So. I'll make a motion that we approve her application. Second. I'll second. Thank you, Robert. All those in favor of the motion to approve Unica Kadka for reciprocity, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing that motion carries. Well, it's really for, you know, class one exam, credit part one. Not really reciprocity. I'm sorry, I said reciprocity. I'm sorry. Cla yes. A motion to approve Unica Kaka for um, class one credit part one with four and a half years experience plus including the masters after the degree. Thank you for correcting. <laughs> I thought now I looked at the wrong application. <laughs> no, my mistake. All right, John DeWolf reviewed three applicants, Raman, Gaudani, and Galab, for a reconsideration for class four. Okay, Raman was had his um, foreign degree evaluated and is missing four hours of general education. Um, Gaudani also had his reviewed. He's missing seven hours of math and science and 12 hours as a general education, but in addition, he has a master's, so that's okay. Um, there are no deficiencies with Gallup. The only thing I have is Raman. I can't see that he's 
currently licensed. So I'm going to move all three be approved with the re, um, subject to verification that Raman is currently licensed. Is there a second to that motion? Second. Thank you, Robert. Subject to verification of Raman. All those in favor of the motion to approve Raman Gaudi and Galab with verification of Raman's current licensure say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, that motion carries. Thank you, John. The next item on our regular agenda is item D, which is a list of candidates who passed the CBT um, um, PE exams. So that's primarily information. Um, good cross section of um, disciplines, but majority civil. We were going to have a discussion on continuing education, which Ryan Thompson had requested. So if Ryan arrives, we'll bring that up later. Uh, we now have um, new items for class one exam credit part one. Don DeWolf reviewed the first three, Gill, Johansson, and Carrar. I move approval. Second. For those three. Thank you, Robert. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion to approve Gill, Johansson, and Carrar for class one credit part one, say aye. 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 Who seconded that? Vote? Sorry, I missed who seconded. John and, and, and Bob Dome. Thank you so much. What was that? What was that? I just said thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Not used to hearing thank you. <laughs> 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 Not in this business. <laughs> Although I think we have a motion in the second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. I review the next two applicants, Saboran and Joka, um, both with degrees, both working, actually both working in Connecticut. That's good. So I would um, recommend approval. Is there a motion to accept my recommendation? So Thank you, Richard. Thanks, Rob. Second. All those in favor of the motion to approve Saboran and Soka for class one credit part one say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. And Rob, you reviewed Tenska and Tron for class one credit part one. Yeah, both good degrees. Signatures, good experience. I recommend approval. I'll second. Thank you, Al. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 The opposed. Hearing on that motion carries. And John DeWolf reviewed Imada Seti. Imada Seti. Um, okay. Um, um, his application they filled out with the Connecticut form shows he has a master's. The only degree he showed on his form is he has a professional science master's in solar energy, energy engineering, and commercialization, which does not count. But um, he has a foreign degree that has been evaluated. And he is, um, I think, four years short of math and science, but I think it's okay. So I'm going to move approval. Okay. Even though I didn't list what he should have on the form. Well, he had the undergraduate degree evaluated and he has a master's. Right. right. Is, there, is there a second? But the master's is not a, doesn't count, but I'm second. sure there's enough math in there to count. So, second. All right, Robert, Rob, my Bob. <laughs> we have to call you Bobby, and we have Bob, Don, Bobby, and Rob. <laughs> Good luck All with right. that. All those in favor of the motion to approve Imad Asedi for 
Class one exam, credits part <laughs> one and two. Proof the class one license. So the point is, he, he, this means he's taken the exam. Is that correct, John? Am I reading that correctly? Yeah. Proof the class uh -huh. one. Hold on, please. Let's see. Is this a case where he took it elsewhere and we're recognizing he has, it? He, has to, he took the EIT in California. Okay. So. But that means he, he passed the second part also. I'm not, I'm, I'm confused. No, I don't see that he's passed. He's he, we're approving him for the second part. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, uh, if I can yeah, correct, he did take both parts, but he never he received a license. Okay. okay. Um, or he didn't apply for a license in, <clears throat> excuse me, in California. I don't see where he took the second exam, but I'm. I can get that to you. He's got the, the form shows that he has checked off engineering and training twice. But it appears he took them at different times. I think, oh, I know what's happened. He's got the, the form. This is another problem with his form work. He has, for where he should have checked professional engineer, he checked engineering and training twice. But I see that he has a... No, I, I don't see it. I don't see that he has a second exam. Not... Oh, wait, he does. I found the for I found the page. He's okay. So he's had both exams. So we're just moving. We're moving. Um, I'm moving to approve him for license. So what what probably happens in a case like this is they take the exams in California, but he doesn't get himself licensed over there. For whatever reason, didn't pay the fee or whatever. I don't know. Is that the case? So now he comes to Connecticut and just wants to prove that he did it. He's got him. Now we want to license him here in Connecticut without having to take the exam because he already passed both parts. Is that correct, would, then, Jane? That that's what I, I yes. gather now. Yes, that's back. correct. So, okay. so we're really just recognizing the California exam. Correct, sir. Yeah. That's what I it's happened periodically that for whatever reason, he takes it while he's in school, works for a while, I don't know, but he's taken both parts. Perhaps he took them before he had all of his time, but. I think for um, can, uh, California requires some additional examinations that I, I think they're kind of going around so that they don't have to take the whatever else is required in California. So right, they're so just bringing take, their exams. You want to take here. the seismic exam or didn't take it or couldn't take it or whatever. And now he comes to Connecticut and can license because we don't require. All right, regardless, that okay. it seems that he's taken both parts and we're recognizing that and we're recognizing that he passed both exams. Yep. So all those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. So as far as we know now, Mr. Emma Steady is going to receive a license from um, Connecticut. All right, John, you review the next one, a class two exam, credit part one for Brian or cut. <clears throat> he has a bachelor's, he has an associate's degree from Springfield Technical Community College and a bachelor's degree in civil engineering technology from Central. So he has the four year degree. I'm not sure if it's class two or class one, but um, I move approval. Credit part to take so he can take the second exam. He's, he's taken the first one, the EIT. Correct. Okay. Second. Thank you, Richard. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> Carried on that motion carries. I had um, the, the next group of applicants for class four reciprocity and I had a couple of um, observations I just share. 
because it's kind of funny or interesting, not funny, interesting. First of all, all but one of the 15 applicants is a model law. Um, I would just ask Jane if you could verify that Ali Bakhtar number four on your list was current because there was no state list. I don't know from where he came. Um, so that's one question I'll have to have answered. The next one that was interesting was L Loriano Brown. He obtained a BS in electrical from Purdue in 88, but his work experience did not start in engineering until 2011. But certainly he's had enough experience, all good in electric power general, um, um, design, but interesting that he didn't start working in, in the field until 2011 from 88. And the last one was um, um, John Case. It just his experience ended in 22, but he's still licensed in in uh, Pennsylvania. So, having said all that, I would um, recommend approval of all the applicants based on their work experience and education, subject to verification of. Vasilos Artemio, Artemio, that's number two on your list, Jane, and also verification of Bactar, which is number four on the list. So my recommendation is to approve all subject to verification of Artemio and Bactar for class four reciprocity. I'll make that motion. Thank you. Second. A second. I'll second. Thank you, John. <clears throat> Taking a note here. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. <laughs> Just have to make myself a note here if you don't mind. There we go. Okay. Then Richard Swizak reviewed the next group of applicants for class four reciprocity. Um, Sizek through Gray on page five of our agenda. I'm sorry to interrupt. I don't know if I missed it, but there's a Tanya. For the last motion, it sounded like it ended at John, um, but there was one underneath, a Tanya. Charles uh, Charlesworth. Yeah, that was 15 applicants. I if I um I missed it. So correctly stated, I did review all of them, and yes, okay. I should have said um, Aller through Charlesworth instead of Kakase. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you for correcting that. Thanks, Jane. I, I did review the next group of applications, and all of them were model law except for Ali El Rachi, who had a Lebanese degree. She was <clears throat> deficient 14. It was evaluated, and she was deficient 14 hours in general education. But I think that that's another one of those cases where they take all their general education before they take their primary courses and she does have a master's from the University of Nevada. So with that said, I'll make a motion that we approve all 21 of the applications. I'll second. Thank you, Rob. <clears throat> Any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion to approve Sizek through Gray on page five for class four say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. And then we have um, applicants for, for class four reciprocity from Heckman through Lee 
and Lopez through Mahmoud on page five and six of our regular agenda reviewed by Rob Lewandowski. All right. Um, I reviewed all these applications. Uh, they all have good degrees, good experience um, and licenses. Uh, and they're all model law with the exception of four. Amir Ibrahim, non-model law due to foreign degree, who was evaluated equivalent. Uh, Miak Kim, uh, also non-model law due to foreign degree, evaluated was equivalent. Uh, <clears throat> Robert Zong Dong Li, uh, non-model law, not equivalent, missing uh, general ed and bio. Um, I think it was four. It was very minor. I think it was four hours. Uh, and then Risa Lopez, non model law, uh, evaluated as equivalent. So, um, with that said, I do recommend them all for approval. Thank you, Rob. I'll second. Who is that, Al? Yeah. Thank you, Al. All those in favor of the motion to approve. Beckman through Lee on page five and Lopez and Mahmoud, Mahmoud on page six for class four reciprocity. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Bring on that motion, Terry. Bob Dome reviewed um, the next group of applicants, Martin through Sarim for class four reciprocity. OK, um, all but uh, five were um, model law. <clears throat> I would like to uh, talk about Alexander Norton. Um, he's a non-model law. He has a bachelor's in electrical engineering technology from the University of Maine. And he has a master's in electrical and computer engineering uh, from um, WPI. Um, I'm going to suggest that we have, oh, excuse me, he did not get his degree evaluated. So um, even though it's a, um, a US uh, degree, I would recommend that we get his degree evaluated. Um, because I could not uh, determine the deficiencies, um, nor could I determine if he made up any deficiencies with his master's. So the BS technology degree from UMaine, was that a four-year degree? Because doesn't he qualify, would he qualify under on technology qualification of seven years experience. Um, uh, that's a good point, uh, Tony. Um, I did I did not look at it from that aspect, and I should have because he does have twelve years, ten months, um, good experience. Um, yeah. We recognize the technology degree and it right and it, we do yeah and it's um if he has the experience i would say that that qualifies plus the masters in computer in electrical engineering from from, from worcester so it it was a um it was a actually a five year <laughs> five years he spent at university of maine so um i will uh uh, change that. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, so he'll be part of the um, motion to approve. And uh, for um, Molye, he was missing 10 hours in general ed, um, a degree from um, Mumbai. He has a master's in civil engineering from Columbia. Um, so I, um, that deficiency is really non-existent. Uh, I need to verify that um, Matthew Nelson 
um, has a current degree, his um, uh, current license, excuse me, his license expired um, in April from Kansas. And uh, there was one more that was only missing uh, um, three hours in general ed. I overlooked that. So I would make a motion to approve uh, the entire group um, with Matthew Nelson subject to verification of uh, current license. All right, thank you. Is there a second to the second. motion? I'll second. Thank you, John. Um, all those in favor of the motion to approve Martin through Sarim with the uh, verification of a current license for Matthew Nelson, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. The next group is reviewed by John DeWolf, Salama through Barn on page six and Vaughn through Zimmerman on page seven for class four reciprocity. Nothing much interesting in these. I move approval of all of them. No controversy. What's going on? Come not, on. Not <laughs> interesting is good. I'll, I'll second that. I don't even remember. I I think they're all model law, but if they weren't, I, I did look at it. So they're all fine. So I move approval of all the full group. All those in favor of the motion to approve. Salama through Varn and Vaughn through Zimmerman for class four reciprocity say aye. 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 Any opposed? Do we have a second? Oh, I'm I sorry. It. Yeah, John, it was John and, and, and Bob Doan. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any aye. opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. Okay, our next applicant reviewed by the uh, surveying members was for Mitchell Curry. The class six exam. Um, and class six requires a, um, nine years of experience, non graduate. So, did you take a good look at it, Ken? And, and yes, Bob? I did. Yes, I did. And um, I reviewed the application and I rec uh, recommend approval for Mitchell Curry. Second. Thank you, Robert. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion to approve Mitchell Curry for class six exam credit part one. Say aye. 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 Any opposed? I did not get a copy of the next one for class eight exam, but Ken and, and Bob, you get a chance to look at Martin Gottwalt. I would eight. move that we approve it. I'll second that motion. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. All right. Our next group of applicants where, well, next group of um, candidates was for class nine license um, from Ryan through Tron on page seven, past the um, EIT. It was a motion to accept, I mean, to approve the granting of the license for those individuals, EIT. So moved. Second. Thank you, Robert. Thanks, Al. Is that good? Was that um, was that Richard? It didn't matter. Could be that. <laughs> I look like Al every once in a while. We're it's both a... smiling. We look the same. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. The um, <clears throat> there was a review by Bob Doan for reinstatements for five applicants. BD, Capello, Lane, Pekin, and Police. I make a 
um, motion to approve all five for um, reinstatement. And um, I'd like to uh, thank um, Jane for setting up the uh, the packets that come out with the breakdown and the table and it uh, helps move things along. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jane. Is there a second to I'll Bob's? second that. Thank you, John. <laughs> you second the motion and second the compliment. Yes. The compliment. I'm, I appreciate all Jane's doing because it does make it very smooth when you start going through all these. Thank you, Jane. Yeah. So, so she had, she adopted the the um, who who originated that Rob Lewandowski or, or Bob Doan who who had who made that chart first? It was it was a, a collaborative effort. <laughs> I, I think I took it from Richard uh, Swizak mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, so I, I, I got it, anyway. mine was a little different than that one, but I have a little more room where I can actually write in in the lines because the lines that she has are too tight together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think Terry helped me on mine. Uh, it could be. All right. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Yeah, rest his soul, Terry. <laughs> we um, we have a um, um, what do you call it? A reinstatement for Bernard Sermola. A, a, a rare reinstatement for a land surveyor. I mm. I can't say that I recall another one. I've reviewed it and uh, I recommend approval. This is Second. Second. Thank you, Robert. All those in favor of the motion? Well, actually, two year lapse. You know, that's interesting how you go that far, but it happens. Document sealed, this is a project. So, this is a case where he wasn't in another state. And so, he paid a fee, correct? Correct. Did you collect the money, Jane? <laughs> Yes, we did. So we just had to pay for the um, the, the two years from 22 to right. 23 and 23 to 24. Yep. Yep. All those in favor of the motion to reinstate um, Bernard Cermolo say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Here we go, that motion carries. Okay, then we have our supplemental agenda. Tony, was that Samola? Is he a, a descendant of um, our previous? Joe, I was wondering the same thing. The name is certainly familiar, but I didn't see an application, so I don't know. I believe so. Oh, yeah? Wow. I think, I think Joe was the one I replaced on the board. Right. He was, he was chairman when we started. He also signed my approved license in 1984. Boy, you're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean getting? Oh my God. <laughs> Beats the alternative. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we had under this the supplemental agenda, we had two items of correspondence, which will take, well, actually three, excuse me. Um, I will say that it was a little bit of a challenge, but I like the way the um, the uh, updates of the agendas were at least continuous on the um, email, right? So in other words, that each time there was an addition, it didn't get lost in in, um, in the process because it was a continuous update. I don't know if anybody else felt the same way, but yeah, I saw, I appreciated that too. Yeah. Oh. It's, because when they, the first time or so they were coming in at different times and places, at least now I could go back and check because in the the heat of the battle during the day, you see it, then you try to deal with it and then it gets lost. So anyway, the first one is interesting to me, like we need another layer of supervision, but regardless, NCWS joined a group of inter-organizational council on regulation. And I guess it's an idea to keep each other or all the associations aware of what's going on in other states. Um, some states are receiving or gaining or having pressure to eliminate licensure and, and uh, other aspects. So I guess that's a, um, a way in which they could um, help each other 
in fighting or being prepared for it. But anyway, supports the continued use of like licensure for architecture, engineering, interior design, landscape architecture, and surveying. It's, they want to make sure that they publicize the um, unique nature of, of licensure and how important it is. So NCAAS has joined the, the group. Uh, the next applicant I get, the next item is, an, is from a potential applicant or his representative, I couldn't tell which, asking whether or not um, his experience <coughs> is appropriate for licensure, as I read it. So the fact is he had an associate's degree in engineering technology in 2016. Um, after seven years of qualifying experience, he would be eligible to take the exam. So my conclusion was he would be eligible in 2025 to sit because of the seven years and because of um, the uh, contribution or whatever you want to call it of the four year engineering technology degree. I agree. This is an ex a, a exception that he has the experience before the, the degree, but he had the experience after the associate's degree, which I think counts. Right. Okay. So I I, I guess the recommendation um, or the motion, I guess, would be to authorize Jane to advise Jason Edwards that as described, he would be eligible to take the exam for PE in 2025. Once he has the bachelor's exam, once he has the bachelor's degree, the four year degree. Yes, I'll make that motion. Who made it? I'm sorry. I'll make the motion that he be able to take right. the um, where, um Right. Second exam after he receives his bachelor's. His four year degree. Right, the office, correct. He'll have the experience under the, 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 um, the associates and he'll have finished his education. So he'd qualify, right? right? Okay, so the motion is to, uh, to recommend, to um, advise Jason Edwards, that he would qualify for the exam after completion of his four year um, engineering degree. All those in favor of the oh, is there a second I'll second motion? I'll second it. Thank you, Robert. All those in favor of the motion to, uh, um, uh, to uh, advise Jason Edwards that he would be eligible to take the exam in 2025, say aye. 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 <coughs> Any opposed? Hearing on that motion, Chair. Thank you, John. And the last one is um, our, uh, what do you call it, correspondence from Jason Gamble, Chief Officer of Examinations at NCWS, um, advising everyone that the last PE structural paper and pencil would be um, in October 23. Then it moves over to um, two day exam. There will be new specifications for the civil and he outlines the other changes for the other disciplines. So again, um, good, good knowledge for um, Jane to keep handy if um, people call and inquire. But other than that, they, they're all available on the NCWS website. So that's just for information. All right, that took care of correspondence on the supplemental agenda. Then we have a list of applicants who took the, uh, the National Land Surveyors exam. <clears throat> um, and I guess, Jane, you just locate, you just know where they took the exam. Is that correct? You have the name and then location. That was the well, site of <clears throat> the testing site? Yeah. Um, no, actually, it's where they're from. So I okay. had spoken to Barbara about that, and she said that you um, you all seem to were interested as to where the land surveyor was located. 
But these are they're passing the national exam or the state exam. Both. So these are all the the new licensees for land okay. surveyors. OK, so this is new licensees. Yeah, from. Kind of like how we did it with the how I do it with the engineers, I did it with the land surveyors. I can change it up if, or maybe name it something different so it's not confusing. OK. So these are new licensees and new Connecticut licensees. It's, Two of them are reside in Connecticut and, two, and the rest are from out of state. OK. So that's again for information. And then we have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five more applicants for um, class one credit part one that John DeWolf reviewed, Borea through Station, Staten, rather. I have a question. Is the Fairfield Mechanical Bachelors accredited. I didn't know I, Fairfield had. I'll double check. It's Fairfield what? The Fairfield Mechanical Engineering Bachelor's degree. That's Borea's degree. Is it an accredited engineering accredited degree? I'll check that right now. Um, and while you're checking. She had then has a Damascus bachelor's. It was reviewed with no deficiencies. He also has a master's from Bridgeport. So I, I guess the the motion would be I would vote to approve all subject to verification that Berea has an accredited engineering degree. Okay. Second to that motion. I'll second. Thank you, Richard. <clears throat> so all those in favor of the motion to approve class one exam credit part one for Berea, Couch, Hendrickson, Shadada, and Staten, subject to verification of the ABET degree from Fairfield University for Berea. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Oh. Hearing on that motion carries. On page two of the supplemental agenda, I reviewed the first four applicants, Buckman, Burns, Conley, and Elsa Hat for class four reciprocity, all four model law engineers, um, um, all bachelors, no masters, structural, mechanical, mechanical, and civil, all currently licensed. So my recommendation would be to approve Buckman, Burns, Conley, and Elsa Hat for reciprocity. The motion to accept my recommendation. I'll make that motion. Thank you, Rob. Second. Thank you, Rich. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Hearing on that motion carries. Rob Lewandowski reviewed Gazar, Hall, Hutton, and Johnson for class four reciprocity. Uh, all four have uh, good degrees. Uh, good licenses and good experience. Uh, Gahar and Hall are non-model law. Um, both degrees were evaluated as not equivalent. Uh, Gahar was deficient five hours in general ed, not including a master's degree, so that's okay. And Hall was deficient six hours in gen ed. Uh, <laughs> not including the masters from NYU. So that's also OK. So I recommend all four for approval. To I'll second. second. Thank you. Alfred. Robert. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. And Richard Swizak reviewed Lynch, Mohammed, Nanis, and Patterson for class four reciprocity. Three and four were model law. Mr. Nanis had an engineering technology degree, but he has 29 years of experience. So I'll make a motion that we accept all four applications. Second. Thank you, I'll Robert. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion to approve Lynch, Mohammed, Nanis, and Patterson for class four reciprocity, say aye. 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 
Any opposed? The motion carries. Um, the last item on our supplemental agenda, two of them are Kruzenski and Flor Florenbo, Florenbo for reinstatements. One that dated back to 2010, one to 2009, continuously licensed in another state, did not seal in Connecticut, <coughs> don't reviewed. Yeah, and, um, I took a um, look at the applications. Primarily, I was curious as to what they've been doing during the lapse time. And um, Krasinski is licensed in 20 other states. Um, and uh, so he's been actively working in other states. So that's why he let it lapse. Um, Fluoranville was probably one that got licensed in Connecticut and then went to get licensed in New York and worked in New York because that's all he's done. And um, he got his license a year before he let it expire in 2009 or asked to have it retired. Um, but it, um, he probably took advantage of Connecticut somehow in getting his license here and then reciprocity in New York would be my guess. I couldn't tell by reviewing this app. But anyway, long story long, sorry guys. Uh, I make a motion to approve both. Second. Thank you, Richard. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Hearing on that motion care. I, I just want to add one item in, in terms of one of my reviews, one of my applications did have a degree in physics and he actually went back to get a degree in engineering and, and it only took him, you know, like a semester or two because of the fact that he had all the base courses, you know, taken already. So, um, so th that is a possibility where if you do have a degree that that isn't necessarily in engineering, you can go back and get your engineering degree relatively easy and mm -hmm. And that's what he did. So I just wanted to point that out for our, our future discussions for sure. It sounds a little, um, I'm surprised he could do it in a year. I would think it would take about two years, but I may be wrong. Well, you know, again, I, I, I well, he got his physics degree in 2014, and then he got his BS in 2017. So I guess there was a three year lapse, okay. but I thought he, you know, he really didn't go full time. To, to school, he was doing something else. But he did okay. did get his degree, but it was a relatively short period of time. Okay, makes sense. Okay, so now we had, um, let's see. We have the draft minutes, and I guess they're draft because we have to approve them, correct? Dane? Yes, that's yeah. correct. Right, so they're, these are the proposed minutes, drafts, whatever. So the first group was March 7th. Um, we tabled these, I believe, the last time because not everybody received them. And then it's been two months since our last meeting, so they're still pending. So the only thing I noticed and I was just curious about was if we're referencing something on the, on the minutes, numbering the pages might be good for posterity. But otherwise, um, the only thing I had to note was on page two, out of curiosity, the um, we advised Mr. Ladd of Green Skies, Green Skies Clean Energy that they should be registered. So the question was, did they apply or did I miss it? So, Tony, that was the one we had talked about after and we were going to have legal piping oh, yeah, on that right. and yeah and um i have not heard back from ryan okay. burns on that so okay all right well but mr ladd didn't comment either since then all right so that's the reason that's why legal was looking at it okay any um, other comments or recommendations, uh, amendments or deletions, whatever, corrections?
Make a motion to approve. Thank you, Robert. Second. Thank you, John. All those in favor of the motion to approve the meeting minutes for March 7th, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. Then we have our meetings for the April meeting. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the only notice, the only thing I had noted when I read them last yesterday, oh, it's on page three. Board member Swizak made a motion to request evaluation of the undergraduate foreign degree. And I would just add for COD, CODCA, which we did today, but just to throw the name in there because there were two names there, Malcolm and Armley. I mean, CODCA and Malcolm, but the um, evaluation was, I believe, for CODCA. Other than that, I didn't see anything. Uh, was it? I'll move to approve subject to that one change. Second. I'm sorry, who is that? Bob? Bob Doan? Al. Al. Oh, Al. Thanks, I'll, Al. I'll yield to Al. <laughs> Al has one major job, and he knows what it I is. I know. I know. Warm it up right now. He's getting warmed up. All those in favor of the motion to uh, um, approve the minutes of April 18th as presented, say aye. As amended, as amended. Say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. Is there any other new or pending business that we missed? Just a continuing ed that I guess we'll have to table. We'll have to table because we have nothing to offer. Brian had asked for that bit of be added to the agenda. Um, so I didn't know if he was going to present something or bring it along, but I'll have to ask him how's he doing. I didn't know he wasn't going to attend today. All right. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Thank you, Al. It's a second. I'll second. All those in favor of the motion say aye. And aye. Our aye. Our next well, we had our surveyors with us all day today. What was that, Richard? We had our surveyors with us all day. That's yeah. right. I forgot. Yeah. I forgot that. Well, <laughs> it's about time they, they put in a little overtime, you know? I forgot. <laughs> Thank that. you, Tony. <laughs> You could have spoken up. They probably had a call a tea time for like nine thirty, and they all missed their tea times. Yeah, no, late. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when's our next meeting? I know it's on here somewhere. I was, I like that that you keep adding it to the list. It's, it's, it's late, later in the month, July eighteenth. Yeah, July eighteenth. You beat me to it. All right. You know, I'm going to be yeah. in Colorado that month. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I can get my application electronically or not. So um, if you mail them to my home, I won't get them. <laughs> okay, I can email them to you. Because this, this way I can look at them, you know, electronically, so. You got it. All right. We need everybody's input. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Right. Have a good day. Right. Have a good month. Okay. All right. Have a good Thank month. You. Thank you, Bye. Tony. Thank you. Yep. Okay.